name is Shelley Laws. I am Tlingit native. I'm a Dakthane Ton, which is Raven Clan, and I'm Kaguantan Yeti, which is an eagle that would be my grandfather's side. Um, and I'm a Chocat weaver and I'm a storyteller. Um, I started telling stories according to my mother the day I was born. My grandmother was a storyteller and we used to listen to grandma tell stories all the time. And when I was a little kid, she would tell us stories that usually contained two little girls who were a lot like my sister and I, doing something that we had no idea grandma had seen us do. Most of grandma's stories ended that way. Tlingit stories don't tend to be, you know, the uh, feel good, happily ever after stories. Um, Tlingit stories tended to be for a couple of different reasons. They were, they were preservers of history, for one thing. So um, you would have a story that you know, talked about natural things where they were talking about a phenomenon that had happened and you know, you can go back, it's interesting now to go back and do uh, research and find out what was going on geologically at that time when the stories were from. And stories were also um, a way of teaching lessons or explaining phenomena that they didn't understand. You know, sort of like putting the sun and the moon and the stars in the sky. I think there isn't really a culture that doesn't have a creation story. Um, I have a story that I tell about how Raven created the world. And it's the other part of storytelling, which is the entertaining part. Because, you know, there's a lot of times sitting around and, you know, you can, you can tell the same story over and over and over again. But if it isn't funny, well, you're really not going to remember it. So there's lots of stories out there and I just, I learned them from my grandmother and I learned them from my great uncle Dick and great uncle Joe. I think we have some recordings of, of them telling stories um, and then just listening to stories along the way. Um, yeah, it's just, there's a lot of stories out there. Hawk says, sounds dangerous, I'll do it. So the birds all came and lined up on the beach because this was big doings and they wanted to watch. And the people all came down and Raven sent the people. He said, you people, go get some dry grass, bring it down. Make a big pile here. And you people, go get some sticks, bring them right here, big pile. And you people, get some pitch. When you're telling stories to especially little kids or even grown-ups, you know, um, is to make the audience part of the story. One of the main reasons I started, you know, I mean, I always told stories to the kids. Um, and now my kids tell stories and you know the stories is just a thing i think we should understand each other and understand each other's culture and one way to do that is to have fun with each other's culture and storytelling is fun like everybody likes a story 